right, the lights are off right there. Check that out. The colors are beautiful, very rich and vibrant. They look so good. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Cooler Master GD160 ARGB gaming desk. I did receive this desk from Cooler Master, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this gaming desk or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Take note, we actually have two boxes, clearly labeled box one and then box two in the back right there. This is an ARGB gaming desk that we can use with the Master Plus software to configure and control mouse pad ready this is an electric sit stand desk with dual motor design and this also features usb charging now let's go ahead let's open it up and look at the contents all right here are all the contents first up in box one we had our lovely desktop surface look at that that's the top of our desk right there everything looks great we got the cooler master logo on it i still got to wipe it down so don't worry about that that's just some packing material residue on there we got foam in there as well protecting our cable management slot that also had this mouse pad in it as well as one of our user guide and manuals and then everything else you see right here that was in the second box that was really really heavy so that's a look at all the contents i do want to point out we had a couple of loose pieces right there hopefully we can find where they go and if we need them so be sure to look in your box make sure you don't throw out any parts or pieces. Now let's look at the user guide and manual. So opening up the user guide and manual reveals some tech specs for us right here. Dimensions of the desk, everything you need to know, followed by a complete list of all the parts. Everything's labeled and organized very nicely. Then we have seven steps for installation. So just follow the steps one by one until you have the desk completed. Everything's labeled for you. Again, charts, diagrams, everything you need to know. And then we have our operational instructions right here to adjust the height, different positions, charging with USB, additional instructions, troubleshooting. Then we have some warranty information. This does come with a two year warranty. And then lastly, on the very back, we have Cooler Masters customer service and contact information if you ever need to reach out. Now let's go ahead Let's get this assembled. So the desk is basically finished. I just wanted to show you the bottom side really quick before we flip it over. First thing to take note of, we have our control panel right here, but you can mount it on this side if you want. There's our power cord and cable for the desk that just plugs right in here. And this is plenty of length, so it's nice that it's long for us. We have our other cable routed right here for our motor coming around, and then it plugs directly in here. So look at all the connection options that we have there. And we are using all of the ports. Then we have basically our lighting controls right here. Same thing, one end's gonna connect into this, the other end's gonna go up through here, connect into the lights themselves. And we have our micro USB cable to USB type A coming out that'll connect to our computer so we can use Master Plus software to control the built-in ARGB. And then lastly, you may notice we have the controls right there all wired in as well. Very simple and straightforward. Basically, just plug and connect everything in. You know, what ports match what. It's very plug and play ready. You'll be able to do it. I don't really feel like this gave you the best, you know, help with the wiring. But it really is just find whatever end can go where and connect it in. So everything's going to feed back, whether it's the control or our light strips are going to feed back and connect to this. So you won't really connect these two together to each other, if that makes sense. Connect everything back to here and you'll be all set and ready to go. All right, check it out. There's the finished desk. It looks so good. And I'm not sure you'll be able to tell, but that RGB strip lighting on the front and the back is so bright. This is currently the lowest height setting, if you're wondering as well. But let's look at it up close. We have all of our adjustments right here, so we can quickly go up. Look at that. Look at how fast that's going. Let's keep going all the way. All right. Now look at how high that is. Holy smokes. Can't even fit it all in the shot. 
it's almost chin high. And then we have all of our different profile settings right here, right? So if we want to have one saved, we'll be able to reference that right there and it'll go to exactly where it needs to be. But the controls, very easy to use, super fast and responsive, very, very powerful. Build quality is great, Cooler Master logo on it. We have the included mouse pad right here. All of our cable management, we have our USB. I have the USB running out right here, so if we want to connect it to our computer, we can do that right there. Let's look at it from the back side. Again, we have our matching strip lighting here with the nice rainbow pattern right now. So bright, very, very nice how this looks. I love the aesthetic of it. Now, just for fun, let's turn off the studio lights and see how bright it is. All right, the lights are off right there. Check that out. The colors are beautiful, very rich and vibrant. They look so good. Couple more things to go over right here. Really quickly on the control panel, we saw this earlier, but I wanted you to understand how to actually set it up. So the M button right here, that's your memory. So get it to the correct height that you want then press M and then choose one, two, or three. And now you've set that profile up and it will always recall that position. So let's go ahead, let's press three and watch what happens. It's gonna go all the way up on its own because I set it to the maximum height setting. Again, I can't stress how fast this is and how tall the desk gets. That is just so crazy to me. But there we go, it's up where I wanted it. Maybe I want to change it, so let's go all the way back down. And you guessed it, it's instantaneous. And now it's gonna work on lowering the desk for us. That is so nice. Oh my goodness, so nice. All right, there we go. And then lastly, we have our A button right here where we can change all of our lighting effects, so let's look at that now. So we'll toggle through the different options here. No need for the Cooler Master Master Plus software if you don't want to do this from your computer. But look at these effects, pretty cool. They're gonna hit, let's go, boom! Now back. Now we're cycling through some different colors. That blue strip, that is awesome. It's a nice slow fade in and out for blue. Now we're building our color right here, it looks like. I'm gonna go all the way across the desk. All right, next up. Got the whole area illuminated. Now we have no light on, and now we're back to the beginning with our lovely RGB. Don't forget about using the built-in USB port to charge your devices. We have our phone connected right there. Looks like it'll be fully charged in around 57 minutes, giving us 33% battery in that time. Not bad at all. And there's the USB port in action right down there. Subtle and out of the way. I do wish we had a couple more USB ports and I also wish this supported wireless charging. It'd be cool to have a built-in wireless charger right there on the desktop surface. Just for fun, we got to talk about gaming chairs. So we got the Cooler Master gaming chair here that pairs really nicely with this desk. Obviously you can choose your color, your style. There's a lot of different versions and variations out there. But if you do want to use a gaming chair, they will fit under this desk. Obviously we can adjust the height. So there's plenty of room depending on how you sit, which chair you're using to be able to at least tuck it up and out of the way under the desk if that's something you want. I mean, just look at that, perfect. I don't know about you guys, but now we got the Cooler Master monitor out here on our desk and everything's just looking so nice and clean. And what's cool is this monitor actually has ARGB in its base, so we can connect everything back to our computer 
and sync up the lights. So there's a lot to love about this desk. It's solid. Literally, it's made out of great high quality parts and components, and it gives us a lot of awesome features. The RGB is super bright and it's customizable. I love that we have the sit stand electric option. The motors are very fast and they didn't skimp. They gave us two motors, and I think that makes a pretty big difference. So I'm happy with that. You definitely get what you pay for when it comes to a sit stand desk. USB charging and the ability to customize the lights directly from the control panel is really a nice touch. Don't forget about that USB cable though. You can plug it directly in your computer, download the Cooler Master Plus software, and configure it right from the software as well. Other than that, I'd love to see wireless charging in the future and maybe some sort of built-in USB hub where we could connect our keyboard, our mouse, and a hard drive and then have one cable going back to our computer. That would be a nice touch and a premium feature. Other than that, I want to point out that the desktop itself, the black surface area, shows a lot of smudges, fingerprints, things like that. I wiped it down twice just thinking it was dirty, but unfortunately, I think it's just how the finish works, maybe the oils on your skin, things like that. So keep that in mind. If you're not using the mouse pad at all, you'll probably notice some smudges, stains, things like that as time progresses and you touch the surface of your desk. Not sure if you can tell here, but maybe you can see some of the area. Like we wiped it down and it's still visible. But just something I wanted to point out, I don't know why that's the case. I wish it was a little bit more smudge resistant. That would be how I probably would label that. 